Hi guys! So I am finally back from vacation and I feel like it's been forever since I've recorded. Um, yeah, it's been a really long time. Um, I pre-recorded a lot of videos um, so I could have content to put up for you guys while I was so busy. Um, Easter was really busy. We did a bunch of pictures um, and then I went on a little short vacation to my cousin's bridal shower because she's getting married next month and I'm so excited for her. And so I was gone um, out of state for a few days for that. And yeah, I've just been so busy and finally back to filming, um, which to you guys probably doesn't seem like I was really gone, but I was gone for quite a while. <laughs> so um, these are the nails that I did for my vacation and they are still looking great except for I ended up with a hangnail on this side and one on this side. So I had matching hangnails and this one got really, really bad. Um, and let me get this to focus. So I didn't have any cuticle oil on this for like three days straight, which is so bad. I never do that. And it got really dry and I ended up with a hangnail and it got caught as I was doing some stuff. And yeah, that it hurts pretty good. So that's probably the worst hangnail I have had in like a year because I'm just like dedicated to my cuticle oil, which helps so much to keep your um, cuticles nice and moisturized, which helps prevent all those nasty hangnails. So as soon as I unpack my cuticle oil, I'm going to put some back on. <laughs> so um, basically I just wanted to stop by, say hi, and show you my beautiful nails that I did because I did not have time to record these. I literally put these on the night before I left and went out the door so I didn't have time to record these at all but if you guys want to know how I did this it's really simple set it's really just glitter on gel um, but if you want to know how I did these just let me know in the comments below and I can do a quick tutorial on like a pop stick for you and show you how I did these um, but so a quick update on a couple videos back now I think it was um, I showed you our new kitty and I put a poll up to have you guys vote for a name for the new kitty and Ducky won by far. Um, it had over 50% of the votes so my daughter keeps calling her Ducky anyways. We took her to the vet and you know they got Ducky on all the paperwork so she is Ducky and she responds to Ducky. <laughs> we say come here Ducky and she just goes meow 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 all through the house so yeah love her to death oh my god she's so sweet um just got her back from the vet she had been fixed we got her spayed and she's doing really good and so that's the update on our little fur baby and so real quick i think what i'm going to do is show you what i packed in my travel bag because while i was away i did my aunt's nails and i'll pop a picture in here for you it's not a great picture, sorry about that. The lighting was really bad and my flash kind of washed out the stamping, but there it is. Um, and so yeah, I packed a bunch of stuff, you know, and I still didn't, I packed my cuticle oil and, and I still never used it. <laughs> but I thought maybe you guys would like to see what all is in my travel bag for nails. So let me grab that real quick bag so I am leaning way back here because it's too big for my camera to pick the whole thing up in but it's really cute I love it it's got a nice long strap on it so I can carry it over my shoulder if I want or it's got this little strap here so you know when this is zipped up I can carry it with me and inside of it it has a nice little zipper spot to hold small things I keep my brushes in there of course it's got these little loops here for brushes but I find that they slide out really easily so there's that let me hook my camera back up here's the inside and it's a big mess right now because I just threw everything back in it, I really wanted to record me packing the bag but again I like I did my nails and I threw everything in my bag and I went out the door I was in such a big hurry um, so so I packed a bunch of paper towels um, just in case to have and my lint roller because I was going to do some stamping. When I packed it, it was a new lint roller and it had the um, 
a paper around it and then when I packed it back up my cotton balls got stuck to it so there's my lint roller and my cotton balls <laughs> and I did pack my cotton claw it's up in the bag there um, of course I got my cuticle pusher and my nail brush and all that stuff um, and I grabbed two stamping plate holders um, I got my Bundle Monster one and my Born Pretty one, just full of the Bundle Monster and the Born Pretty stamping plates. So I just grabbed both of those, and we ended up doing a really pretty rose design on my aunt. And I did up these swatches for her to match her dress, and let her look at those. And it's just some like nude colors with some stamping, and she picked what she wanted from that those away okay so in here I just threw a whole bunch of stamping polishes and over here in this little pocket I did all my gel polishes and then I threw in some stampers and we ended up using this guy here because I love my big blue stamper and we use rosy nude on her it's my absolute favorite um, nude here it is from Madam Glam. I love it so much. Um, but I just, I grabbed a whole bunch of gel polishes in case, you know, she wanted something sparkly, different. Um, of course, I grabbed some rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle, some hand sanitizer, gotta have that, and um, some files, my uh, acetone, and my pump there, which is a pretty nice pump. I really don't know how leak proof this is, but I've tipped it over and it doesn't leak and it's got a lock on it. So like you go like this and it unlocks and you hear it click, then you can't push it down. So it's got like a little lock on it. So I really like that container. It was like a dollar from, I don't know, Born Pretty Store or something. Um, grab some polish thinner just in case, because uh, I've got a couple stamping polishes that are a little, you know, getting to the end. There's my rubbing alcohol and files, buffers, cuticle oil, you know, just all the stuff. And I grabbed some glitters, just in case. Yeah, basically as much stuff as I could think of. I grabbed some gloves here. There they are. And what did I put in here? Oh yeah, some foil wraps, um, uh, scrapers for my stamper, some tape, glue, just everything. Um, oh, and since I don't have a five below around me, um, my cousin who I was going there for, um, I went to Ohio <clears throat> and she had to make a run to the store to get some last minute stuff for the bridal shower. And she said she was going to five below and like a light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, wait, you got to see if you have these polishes because I see girls online with these polishes and they stamp really good and I, I want to try them out and they're really cheap. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so I got two funky fingers and I'm so excited. I got a black and a white. Thank you so much for getting these for me, Hannah. You're awesome. Um, so yeah, funky fingers, white and black from Five Below. So excited. I never actually got to go into the store myself because I was busy um, helping with uh, party prep <laughs> so but she picked those up for me and I am so excited um, yeah and that's pretty much it so yeah it's a hot mess guys I did have it packed a lot neater but you know I threw everything except for the kitchen sink in there and I also packed up my lamp took that with me I just put it back in the box that came in so oh yeah guys that's everything and I just wanted to pop in and say hi real quick and show you that and tell you how excited I was to get these polishes and try them out and it feels like it's been forever so I missed you guys <laughs> um, and I can't wait to get back into making some more videos so I believe I've got a collab, a collab video coming up if I can talk <clears throat> and yeah so I'm gonna get to work on that and I have some really exciting news um, coming up. So in a couple days, I should be receiving a package. And this may not be exciting to a lot of people, but to me, I about fell out of my chair crying excited. So you guys, I'm gonna wait 
you guys and when my package gets here I will tell you what you know happened so <laughs> for me it's exciting for some people it's not a big deal but I'm excited so stay tuned for that it will be coming up very soon I promise and that is it guys I will see you in my next video please subscribe if you're not already subscribed I am just about ready to hit 800 subscribers I cannot believe it oh my god so yeah like I said before I'm trying to get to a thousand I don't think I'm gonna make a thousand by my one year anniversary because um, I think I've only got a couple weeks left for that coming up um, but as soon as I do I'm trying to work with some companies and get them to sponsor a giveaway for me because I really spent a lot of money on the last giveaway and I want to get good stuff for you guys so I yeah I need a little bit of help this time around so um, give me some comments down below let me know what kind of things you would like to see in a giveaway and I can work on that too so okay for the last time goodbye <laughs> I'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye a quick look at the bag emptied just to show you guys got the zipper pocket up here you got the little brush holders here you've got a pocket here 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 each side has a nice pocket and there's even pockets in the front here 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 it's really big really deep really awesome bag I got this from Walmart you guys here is the brand and I there we go and I got this a really long time ago so they probably still don't have this maybe you can look something like up online like this but yeah just wanted to share that with you